Now, question 23 says the conference room measures 24 meters by 12 meters. Square carpets of 4 meters long, each cost, costing 12,000 shillings, were used to completely cover the floor. How much did it cost to cover the floor? Now, notice the room was actually a rectangular room, but now we're using a square carpet to cover it. The square carpet is 4 meters long, and each of it cost 12,000 shillings. How much... How much did it cost to cover the floor? Okay, the first thing we need to do, let's get the area of the room. Area of room. Remember, our room is rectangle, so it will be length times the width, which will be 24 times 12. So let's do that. 24 times 12. 2 times 24 is 48. Then this will be 24. This will give us 882. So this is the area of the room. It's 288 meter square now remember our square carpet is four meter long so area of square carpet since is, you've already been told is a square so you know the area of square which is length times width which is the same thing as length times length because the length is the same so this is going to give us a um, four times four and that will give us a um, 16 meter square okay so now we know our area to be 16 meters square now um so for us to not get the area that will comfortably cover the room we need to do area um room coverage room coverage will now be area of room divided by area of square carpets now that will be 288 divided by 16 so okay so when i do um 16 16 divided by 288 okay now 16 into 28 will give me um i think one 16 times one is 16 so this will be um 28 minus 6 will have um 12 bring down 8 now 16 into 128 how many let's check Okay, 16 times 10 is 160. Let's check 16 times 9. So 16 times 9 will be, this is 6 times 9 will be 54. Carry 5. 9 times 1 is 9 plus 5 is 150. Um, is 144. Let's subtract, uh, and, or let's do 16 times 8. 8 times 6 is 8. Carry 4. 8 times 1, 128. So that will give us um 8. So 16 times 8 will be 128, and that will give us 0. So that means it will take 18 um 18 units, 18 square units to actually um 18 square units to actually cover the whole um the whole the whole room. So at this point, all we need to do is Multiply 12,000 by 18. So let's do, um, let's do um, 12 times 18. 18 times 12. That would be 2 times 18 is 36. We have 18. So this would be 6. 3 plus 8 is 1. Carry 1. This would be 2. Remember your three zeros. Three plus zero. So 12,000 times 18 is going to give us 216300. So the answer is 216,000 shillings. So that is what is going to cover the whole room. So question 24 says 18 pupils were given a playground to clear one hour to clear were given a playground to clear in one hour 40 minutes. If six of the pupils did not turn up, how much longer did it take the rest of the people to clear the playing ground? Now notice that there were 18 pupils. Okay? And they were asked to clear the ground in 1 hour 40 minutes. Now, another way to write this is 18 pupils were asked to clear the ground in, remember 1 hour is what? 60 minutes. So that's in 100 minutes. So let's work with minutes. Now, 6 people did not show up. That means, how many people would not clear? Now, if we have 18 people to clear the ground, that means if 18 people can clear it in 100 minutes that means one pupil 
we actually do it longer than 100 minutes. That means 18 times 100. One child will do it in 1,800 minutes. Okay? Now, but all of a sudden, instead of 18 people showing up, um, six of them did not turn up. That means people who did the work, people who did the job, was 18 minus 6 and that's what 12 so if one pupil can do the job in 1800 minutes that means 12 pupils will do it when that will be 1 8 divided by 12 so how do we get 1 8 divided by 12 so let's do 12 into 1800 now, 12 divided by 18 is 1. 12 times 1 will give us um, 12. This will be 6. Put your 0 and um, your 0. Now, 12 into 600 is going to give you what? Um, I think that's 50. 12 times 50 because 12 times 5 is 60. 12 times 50 will give us what? 600 and that will give us 0. So, that means it will give us, uh, our answer is going to be 150 minutes. Minutes. Now, let's convert to hours because um, I'm seeing some of the options to be in hours. Now, you no know, 60 minutes make one hour. So, in 150 minutes, we'll have 60 plus 60 plus 30 minutes. So, this is one hour plus one hour plus 30 minutes. And that will give us two hours, 30 minutes. So, our final answer it's two hours 30 minutes as simple as that okay so that'll take us to the next question um now question 25 says a train timetable for for station j to o is given below now look you need to note the arrival time and the departure time now it says how long does the train take from station l to n now from station l to n Okay, so notice it arrives at 12.20 hours at station L and departure time from um, station L is at 13.10. That means from 12.20 to 13.10 hour it. Now, let's check. Okay, so this is um to get to 13 will be, this will be 50 minutes spent okay then notice it now left at 13 10 and um its arrival it's 15 10 so let's check again so from 13 10 to 15 10 hour that's how many hours that's two hours okay when you add two hours that's 14 and 15 you get 15 10 Okay, now notice that was the arrival time at M. Now, its departure time is now 16.00. So, that means from 15.10 to 16.00 hours was, um, I think that's 50 minutes again. So, that's 50 minutes. Then, okay, so um, from 16.00 um when it left um m to its arrival at n that's 18 30 r now how long now remember this is 16 16 plus 1 will give us 17 plus 1 18 plus 30 minutes so this is 2 hours 30 minutes okay so now remember this is the um the point it leaves um uh, he, he arrived at L and he started wasting time. Okay, so um, you you need to know this is the point where it arrived um L, and this is the point when um it got to N. Now notice it says how long does it then take take from station L to N? Now so many people are going to make the mistake of starting from thirteen from here. Now you need to note. What time did the train arrive at point L? Once you get that, you can solve this question. 
So immediately it arrives at point L, you start counting both the delay period and everything because the question says, how long does the train take from station L to N? So at the point the train stepped its foot on L, whether it was moving or it wasn't moving, you count it because it's trying to tell you how long does the train spend from L. So from L, it started spending time even for the um, waiting for the passengers before it left and so on. So now to get our total time, we're going to sum up 50 minutes plus 2 hours plus 50 minutes plus 2 hours 30 minutes. Okay? So 2 hours plus 2 hours 30 minutes will give us um, 4 hours 30 minutes. We now have plus 50 minutes. That's plus 50 minutes plus 50 minutes is going to give us um, 100 minutes. Now remember, 100 minutes it's what? This is 4 hours 30 minutes. Now 100 minutes will be 1 hour 40 minutes. So 4 hours plus 1 hour, 4 hours plus 1 hour is going to give us what? 5 hours. Now we have 30 minutes plus 40 minutes it's what? It's going to give us what? 70 minutes. And in 70 minutes we have what? 1 hour 10 minutes. So this is plus 1 hour 10 minutes. So our final answer is going to be 5 hours plus 1 hour will be 6 hour 10 minutes. So that's our final answer. So the correct answer here is B. Okay?